What's up guys, KB here. Today we're going to be looking at this Toro recycler mower with a Honda engine on it. It's got no compression and customer brought it in for the third time this year. Let's check it out. Like I said, this mower has been in my shop for the third time this year. It's a landscaping customer of mine and his, uh, some of his employees just beat the living garbage out of his equipment. Third time this year, I've seen it. I believe I know what the problem is, but I'll walk you through it. In case uh, this happens to any of your equipment, you may already see the problem, uh, but we'll walk you through it. So. I'm gonna pull it over a couple times just so you can hear it. You might be able to see what's going on. Um, but I, I pulled, pulled it over, and as soon as I pulled it, I could tell there's no compression. Let's see if you can see it or hear it. So I don't know if you can see or feel that or hear it, but um, it's just spinning. It shouldn't spin that much if, if there's compression on it. So let's put a pr compression gauge on it so you can see, at least see that, and uh, go from there. Oh, wow. So I don't know if you just saw that, but the ceramic on the spark plug just exploded. So there's the spark plug, a little crooked, broken. That ought to work, right? There's the spark plug boot. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. So I'll see if you can catch that compression gauge. Zero, absolutely zero, nothing. So I'll tell you what I think it is, which it was last time, and what the spark plug pretty much confirms it is this time. The valve cover gets damaged. These guys throw this equipment in the back of their truck, hits the back of the toolbox, um, hits whatever. It's, it's, he's told me it's, it's hit a couple different things, but he didn't even know at first until I told him what was going on. But 
they throw it in the back of their box or tool, uh, excuse me, back, back of the truck. Um, and it damages the valve cover. The valve cover gets dented in and holds the valves open. This should be flush across, sticking farther out. Um, I mean, it doesn't take much to, to hold those valves in enough to keep low compression. The fact that this uh, spark plug is bent, you can see how much it's bent right there. Um, pretty much confirms that, but we'll crack this open. Just double check um, and go from there. So if you've run into something, you know, you're mowing along and you run into a stump or there's a piece of fence sticking out and your valve cover looks bent or anything like that and your mower won't start, it feels really easy to pull all of a sudden, you may want to look into this. So let's crack this open and, and see what happens. When doing this, you always want to lift up the front of the mower. Um, as soon as you crack this, this open, there's going to be some oil here. But also, if you just leave it flat, a lot of the oil from the engine will, will start coming out. And he, he's hit the muffler and everything. This whole front of this is beat up. I've, I'll tell you, he bought this machine, this particular machine brand new at the beginning of this season. And he brought it to me the first time, probably, I'd have to go back and check my records, but it wasn't that far into the season because he brought it to me and said, it should be under warranty, um, but I don't want to deal with it. So can you just fix it and get, get it back to me? You know, I take care of my landscaping customers. I try to get it back to them within 24 hours. People who make money using their equipment, I try to get back to them as quickly as I can. So that's what he wanted to do instead of going through the warranty process. These valve covers are on these Hondas at least are typically on here with a Honda Bond gasket, liquid gasket. This gasket, uh, this valve cover is garbage anyway, so I'm bending it. If you're gonna reuse it, you know, to do a valve job or something, try not to damage it. So, pulling this valve cover off, you can see where the adjuster nuts were hitting the valve cover. So that kind of confirms my idea that it was holding them open. I'll pull it over slightly. Let me put this plug back in just to see if there's compression. Well, I'm gonna put my uh, compression gauge on it. Then we can see how much compression there is. I'm get a towel to cover this so the oil doesn't fling. So we're about 60 PSI with the compression release. That should be fine. Um, definitely more than zero. So that was the problem. You know, the valves are moving freely. You just want to make sure the valves, you know, didn't get bent as well. If, if that got hit at the side or something and that valve cover, depending on the angle of this, you know, if, if one of these pieces has, had gotten bent in sideways and bent one of these tappets or something, um, just want to make sure, look everything over, make sure nothing's cracked or damaged. But that should be the issue. So now all we do is replace that cover. We'll put it back together and fire it up and uh, make sure it's good to go. 
So I'm just gonna clean off all this old, uh, old gasket here um, so that we can replace it and put a new gasket on there and it has a nice seal. And uh, then we'll put a new seal on. Next thing is I do is I take some brake clean on a rag and just go around the edges. Just make sure all the oil and everything is cleaned off from there again so we can get a nice seal. And then we can try and beat that out on the old one. Beat that out square and, and flush but it's just, it's not worth it to me. Um, we can get a new part for about six bucks. Um, so I'll just go ahead and replace it. Part number on this, if you're interested, check up your model number. They make a couple different kinds. Um, if you got an overhead cam, overhead valve, a um, couple different styles of these. But for this one, it's a 12311-Z8B-000. And I've got some Honda Bond HT for high temp. You can use any kind of liquid gasket, um, Permatex, Ultra Gray, um, anything along those lines will work. If you want to put it, try and put a nice even bead all the way around, and then you're good to go ahead and install it. Once you've got it pushed on there, go ahead and put your screws back in. Make sure not to cross thread them. It's probably some old uh, gasket in there and stuff, so just make sure to get them in there straight. I like to put them in there, thread them in there with my fingers, and then I'll tighten them down. This, uh, this gasket says the surface layer dries in about 60 minutes, but it needs 15 to 16 hours to fully cure. So I leave it up like this so the oil doesn't come in and kind of disturb it, but I leave it up like this for 15 or 16 hours um, just so it can cure. Then we'll come back and Put it down, fire up, make sure that solved the problem, and go through and check other, other stuff. Probably need to replace that. Um, came in without an air filter. Need to go through and check everything else. He brought all of his equipment in for me to go over, make sure it's ready for next spring. So we'll check out some other stuff out, but I just wanted to highlight this in case any, anybody comes over the issue, any homeowners or anything wondering why their mower's not working after they ran into a tree or anything. So we'll come back, uh, maybe tomorrow and, and make sure that solved the problem, but, uh, we'll let this sit overnight and, uh, make sure it cures. We'll be back. Alrighty. We're back. Valve cover. The Honda Bond has had plenty of time to, to cure. We are ready to fire it up, see if that was the cause. I've already put a new spark plug in it. Uh, there's obviously some other stuff we need to do to the machine, but let's pull it down and uh, see if that was the cause of, the main cause of our issues.
we go. So just in typical Honda fashion, uh, fired up on the first pole. So I'm glad it was a relatively easy fix. Just replacing that valve cover. Uh, you've just gotta be careful. Can't push these in to push the valves in. If those valves are unseated, you have no compression. So hopefully this was a informative video for you. If you have a similar issue or uh, you think you may have a similar issue, just look at this valve cover. It should be straight across. If it's damaged in any way, take a look at it. Pop it off. Make sure uh, there's no damage on the inside of the valve cover from where those valves uh, and adjusting nuts are hitting it or anything like that. So, so I'll, uh, I'll finish wrapping up the rest of this machine, finish tuning it up, doing some other things to it. But for the no compression issue, we solved it. If you like this video, Think about leaving a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, make a choice to have a great day. Thank you all for watching.